Hey guys, it's Cook3 and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Colin Bound Infinite Invasion. In the last part, we reached Lockport. After battling through hundreds of cat mages, we talked to a rather strange woman and we met Pooh. It's pretty cool. And in this part, we're gonna look around this flea market a little. Greetings! I'm selling powerful potions with a super duper low price of only $35 each. Would you be interested in buying one? Thanks a lot! No, actually I'm not. Alright, please come again! Yes. Did you just say that or was I looking at something wrong? Those lunatics across the floorway have been bothering us a lot recently. We've been had to chase off a couple of them today. Why, I oughta. Hello, my name's Mr. B. I'm a beekeeper. Would you like to buy a slab of honeycomb? What the hell is my accent anyway? It's kind of sort of Jamaican Italian blend. Woohoo! Uh, I'm gonna change his voice. Honeycomb is all I'm selling right now. What exactly does Honeycomb do? Well, I have no idea, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Please come again. Yes. How you doing? Hello there. Uh, would be interested in buying some veggies straight from my garden? I think they are priced fairly, so take a look. What would you like? Uh, nothing for now, thanks. What do you say, punk dude? Hey man, hey man, hey man. So what's happening? Freak. Now, Colin, that was not very friendly of you. You're just saying, hey man, hey man, hey man. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Joros is the flounder, flounder of the flea market. <laughs> it's our special mascot. The weirdest looking fish ever. He's really nice. I think you should meet him. I look forward to meeting this blue antoid fella. I'm sure he won't attack us or anything, or fall off a roof and break his ankle. Ah, oh, there. I am known as the best sign maker in the world. For only $98, I'll make a very attractive traveling garage sale sign. If you need to sell something, use the sign and people come running. It would be a great way of making money and getting rid of junk. You don't even have to visit a store or pawn shop. Yeah, pawn shop. Because there's no real difference when you say it with a British accent. So, how about it? No, I never used this function in the original. I'm not going to be using it in this version. Unless, of course, the guy runs up and says something interesting when they want to buy something, so I don't know. Hello, I'm selling fruit today. Everything I sell is delicious and sweet. What would you like? I would like none of these, thank you. You should eat more fruit, you know. It's not healthy to live off a diet of chips and nachos. You aren't listening to me, are you? Not especially. Hello. You want this used translation book? Yeah, sure. Thank you. That's 20 clams. I only have dollars. Thanks a lot. Here's your translation book. I'm interested in seeing what this is. This book translates all known languages into the English language, including Quesa, the Grey Alien's language. This book also teaches English grammar, punctuation, slang, and so on. I'm sick of you cultists coming over here and driving away my customers. I'm fed up. I'm feed up. I'm fed up with your inconsiderate open air preaching and trespassing. You got five seconds to get the fuck out of here before I throttle you. Hey man, just settle down. I was just. Time's up, and it looks like you're still here. You must be extremely brave or extremely stupid. I don't really care either way. You're going down. Fun fact: I'm pretty sure this blue antoid is riding a bicycle from the sound of it. Um, no, I'm pretty sure he made, or at least was the main character in another Earthbound hack, which I might do at some point, but from the looks of it, is apparently just basically Earthbound with a different main character. But this was the main character, essentially, from what I know, so... Um, I'm going to strengthen Colin, I think, just to do so. And I got the fireballs, that's a lot of fun. Oh boy. Right, I'm putting up a magic shell then, as well, just don't want to die. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're three turns in and I have yet to do any damage. The Maser Emit. Oi! Don't do that! Dick! I want that shield! Because otherwise you'll just do this and kill me. See? I have my reasons. So. Uh, but, uh. Okay, so it's on. Uh. I'm not a big fan of you, Blue Antoid, with your using things that make this battle difficult. Don't do that! However, I think there's a possibility that every time he does that, he's going to use Fireball right after. Oh no, he just got rid of the shield. <laughs> Screw you, man! <laughs> yeah, I don't have a shield anymore, dude. Just get over it. Hey! Thank you, Blue Antoid, Stop for stopping attacking me, but you made me waste loads of PP, so I'm not that happy. 1000 XP? Excellent. 
Um, okay, that was a pretty lame level up, though. Man, you're pretty tough. I should have just jumped on top of you when I was on the roof. Why not did you attack me? I've told you guys dozens of times not to preach in my flea market. If you or any of your friends come back here again, it's gonna get real ugly. I'm not a preacher, dude. I just came over here to do a little bargain hunting until I ran into you. Uh, I thought you... Oh, boy. Jeez, I'm so sorry about going after you like that. <sighs> Those religious loons across the floodway have been harassing us for weeks. When I saw you, I assumed that you were another one. Anyways, I should at least introduce myself. My name's John, but over here I'm called Blue Antoid. What's your name? I'm Colin. Excellent. I hope we can put that little misunderstanding behind us. Please, feel free to continue shopping in my flea market. If you happen to see Carrie, bring her over here. I'd like to meet her sometime. Bit stalkerish, don't you think? So, I'm going to talk to you for no apparent reason. If you happen to see Carrie, bring her over here. I'd like to meet her sometime. I don't really know what that sound was meant to be, but okay. Well, I know what it was meant to be, I just don't know what it actually was. I'm here only to buy or trade rare antique Asian pottery. Sorry, but I'm not actually selling anything to the public right now. Yes! Well, aren't you crazy? Welcome to the Lunar Flea Market to come see our thrifty rock bottom prices. We're open 9 in the morning until midnight every weekday. Fair play. Fair play. There's a blue nest. <gasps> the cat's gone. Probably fell in with that cat mage crowd. It's bad news, I tells you. And this will be the Mario Brothers Pizzeria, I should imagine. And the bus station. Always a good time. I got some really great deals at the flea market. I bought an air mattress and cordless drill for only $12. He also swapped all of my old Archie comics for a pair of any of N64 games. Wait, I didn't see any old mattresses or cordless drills. Those guys are keeping stock from me. I'd advise you to stay away from the hamlet of eternal light. That town is just a big fundy madhouse. I was over there just over there... I was over there just over there a week ago. I was over there just over a week ago, I guess. And the fellow shakes his head. Oh man, I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be the next Jonestown. For those who don't know, Jonestown is the name given to a mass suicide uh, taken by a cult um, in 1978 in uh, Jamestown in Guyana. Yeah. My husband and I were riding the bus back to Garson. We saw uh, hundreds of rats in the tunnel. They started following the bus squeaking and shrieking. <sighs> then they swarmed all around the bus and... Oh god, it was terrible. I like rats. Though maybe not wild rats, they can be kind of... evil. But you know, it's only to defend themselves. You don't look much like Mario or Luigi. I'm leaving. Screw your pizzeria. Actually, you might give me... This is Mario and Luigi's pizzeria. How may I help you today? Mm, you guys don't need to deliver pizzas, right? Yes. Do you have a phone number? Nope. Just give us a call at 555-4642 to place your order. Thanks. I wonder what happens if you do call that number. I wouldn't recommend people try it, but I still just wonder. Excuse me. Oh, looks like something's going on here, and I'm going to refill my PP, if you don't mind. Mm -mm, apple juice. The PP has been healed. See where I did there? Bleh. Please don't interrupt, sir. I'm investigating the kidnapping by interviewing Carrie's neighbors. <gasps> You're a neighbor! Are you investigating Carrie's disappearance too? Yeah. Do you have any information that could help me? Sorry, I really don't recall seeing anything out of the ordinary. 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 It's unfortunate, but I can't help you. I just finished telling the officer here the exact same thing. So why is he telling us not to interrupt? And why is he still investigating? If you don't know anything. So here's Bill. And here's Joe. Um, so that's a lot of fun. I'm not going to bother talking to them right now. I'm going to attack this guy and see what he does. You are a pot hunter. Um, just, uh, I can't even really tell where anything on this thing is. Um, Okay, just gonna try and smash you to bits now. Hope you don't mind, uh, fella. Oh boy. Hopefully this will kill him, because if not, I am screwed. Oh, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, oh. ha. Now that was lucky. Right, Colin, heal yourself up a bit. Thank you very much. And let's see if they got any post. Ah. One of their mail. Oh, there's 
ducks and chicks and long faced person. Carrie has been missing for days. I can't even tell if I'm a man or a woman or not. It's a bit mysterious. What on earth am I going to do? I've talked to the police, of course, but have you seen Carrie anywhere? If you know anything, please tell me what you know. I really don't know anything that could help. Do you know where she was last seen? Yes, Carrie vanished when she went to watch birds at the floodway. I'll have a look around the floodway if you like. Thank you. The police have already searched the area, but I don't think they did a thorough job it, though. By the way, my name's Frank. Okay, I guess that solves that mystery. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so that guy, that's a dude. That's a lot of fun. That's the funkiest chick I've ever seen. Right. You know, Oswald was a lot more interesting duck than you are. Was he called Oswald? Something along those lines. I can't really remember. <sighs> Hi, my name's James. I guess you have already heard the rumors. If you're talking about Carrie, then yes, I've heard the rumors. She disappeared just a few days ago, didn't she? Yes, I'm losing sleep over it and Frank's pulling his hair out. I'd be doing both if my daughter went missing. Hmm. I guess you're too busy to go out. Oh, wait. I guess you're too busy to go out and search for her, right? No? No, I have enough time to look around for Carrie. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your help. Uh, ah. By the way, what's your name? My name's Colin. Before I go looking for Carrie, you should check around the house for her. You know, just to be sure she hasn't returned without your knowing. Hmm. I'm sure she isn't here, but I'll check around the house again for you anyhow. Why, thank you. No dice? Yeah, they couldn't find her. Could I see a picture of Carrie? Sure. James pulls a photo of Carrie out of his wallet and shows it to Colin. I can't promise anything, but I'll spend some time looking for Carrie. That's great! Uh, thanks again for your time. Warning. After this point, do not go and sleep in the hotel. It can cause a glitch, which means that you can't get out of any conversation ever, pretty much, I think. Um, yeah. Be careful. Um, this will be brought up in the next part, when I fall victim to it, but... Just warning anyone who's playing along, don't don't go to sleep in a hotel. You've been warned. You're very welcome. I'm gonna look over in Gary's room now. I can't stop talking like this. Except I totally can. I was just lying this whole time. Present! Clefairy doll! <gasps> that is amazing. Screw teddy bears, I've got a Clefairy doll now. I don't need to play the rest of this hack, I found the most awesome bit of it. No, I probably haven't, but that is still an awesome bit of it. Yay, Pokemons! Ah, uh, fun times. Anyway, uh, time to go investigating a little bit further throughout Lockport. The name of which I almost forgot for a second there. I'm gonna go see Bill and Joe. The flower pot mo. Eh, he's got a smirk and what seems to be... Some kind of muzzle. Hi, I've seen you wandering around our fine town a few times, so I guess you're not from around here. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name's Bill Anderson, and I make my way in life by inventing. Right now I'm a little short on cash. Would you be willing to help me with my lab's upkeep? Okay. Thanks. I'll need at least $200. Is that okay with you? Not right now, but I do appreciate your wonderful generosity. However, it looks like you don't quite have that much on you. I don't remember if... I don't think Orange Kid slash... Presumably Bill ever actually does anything useful. I remember the Supormer existed, but I can't remember what it did. I think it just exploded. Greetings, human. My name is Anantra. I am one of the four robots that Joe created. That's pretty cool. Hi, Joe. Hi there, my name's Joe. I'm what you might call an inventor. I've been working on my gizmos for the past six hours straight. I haven't had the time to find something to eat yet. If you have some vittles on you, could I have some? What can you give me? I can give you a box of condoms. I can give you a gopher. Or I can give you this burger, which I think you'd appreciate most. Thanks a lot! I'm working on an invention I call a smiley smasher. In order to make it, I'm gonna need $200 for the parts. Would you be willing to finance it for me? Yes, but I don't have the money on me right now. I don't want you to feel obligated or anything. Are you sure you're comfortable donating 200 Yeah. Looks like you don't have enough money. Well, anyway. Feel free to visit me if you ever need some inventing done. 
Uh, I do remember that Apple Kid was at least useful, so I'm gonna give him the two hundred dollars. Though I might also give the other guy two hundred dollars just out of interest. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna end this part here, guys. Um, and in the next one, I'll be fully healed, like PP pee -pee and everything. Here's the runaway guys, not the runaway guys. Eh, that's a different thing. Um, some members of the Runaway Five, but they might be called something different in this game, and presumably are. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be healed up. I'm gonna go give money to Joe, and I'm gonna be killed by this guy. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.